Welcome, folks. I wanted to describe the identity element in permutation groups. Okay, so let's work in uh, this symmetric group S5. So this is going to be the permutation group of, of, you know, all permutations of the set one through five. So let S5, the symmetric group on five elements, be the perm permutation group. of, you know, this set one, two, three, four, five. And our question is, what is the identity element? So I could call that, um, yeah, I'll just say, what is the identity? What is the identity permutation? Let's, let's call it the identity. Um, and it just takes, one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four, and five to five. Okay, and we'll check that if I compose something with the identity that we just get the original permutation back. So let me give another permutation F, which sends, um, let's send one to four, two to three, three to one, four to two, and five to itself, right? So you could see that if I compose um, these two together, you know, if I do the identity first and then F, I just get F. And if I do F first and then the identity, um, I, I still just get F. Okay, let's do another example. What is the inverse of this permutation F. So I'm, I wanna to try to draw the inverse permutation. So remember something composed with its inverse has to be I the identity. So if F takes one to um, four, where should F inverse take four? I better take four back to one. We'll, we'll draw this in a moment. And if F takes two to three, its inverse better take three back to two. And if F takes three to one, its inverse better take one back to three. And then if F takes four to two, its inverse better take two back to four. And if F, F takes five to five, its inverse better take five to five. And, and the reason being I want when I stack these two on top of each other and straighten out the strings, I just get the identity. So indeed, let's try doing um, F first and then doing F inverse. I'll try to draw my maps a little bit prettier this time. So one goes to four um, three goes to one, two goes to three, four goes to two, and five goes to five. Cool. And in my claimed inverse, I'm saying that I want one to go to three. I want two to go to four, three to two, um, four to one, and five to five. So now let's draw the composition. What I've drawn is first doing F and then F inverse. And to draw this, I just strain out all the arrows. Okay, so where does one go in total? Where well, one goes to four, but then it goes back to one. That's how I chose F inverse. Okay, so one's going to one. Then where does two go? Two goes to three, but then an inver F inverse takes three back to two. That's how I chose it. So in total, two goes to itself, etc. Three goes to one. Where does F inverse take it back next? Back to three. Four goes to two, but then F inverse takes two to four. That's how I chose it. 
And lastly, five never went anywhere in the first place. And that's why we made sure that the inverse didn't move again. So five goes to itself. All right. So that gives you a little idea of what is the identity permutation in this group of permutations, and also how do you find the inverse of any permutation? Public questions?